Hey everyone, today I'm going to go through how to make a buffer sword. So, first thing you'll need is a core. I like to use either PVC pipe or bamboo. Second thing you need to do is you need to cut it to the size that you're looking for to make your weapon. I usually like to use a little handsaw for this. Third step is taping up these tips so they're not so sharp and they won't cut through the foam. The fourth step is to take a proper measurement of your pool noodle. So you take your core in your hand and you put your pool noodle over top making sure to leave about two inches here for your pummel about an inch above your hand for your guard and overlapping your foam noodle here about an inch and a half maybe two inches to give your sword a soft tip so I'm gonna go cut it right about here fifth step is to shove your noodle onto your core now, I like to use a twisting motion. Sometimes if your core is a bit thicker, it'll be really hard to get on there. You use your finger uh, to help position it by sticking your finger in the hole and you can feel it. Okay, I can bring it out a bit more. To fasten your sword, you'll need some duct tape. And what you'll need to do with this duct tape is rip chunks that are about two inches long, about this long. And then you're gonna rip those chunks into three. And you're going to need to do that about five or six times. So five or six times. And what you're going to need to do is place this tape on the foam like this. And then push it in here with your finger and then push it up like that. So you have a really solid connection and it does like a zig and a zag, follows the form. And the next one, the next piece of tape, you just overlap it slightly. And you just wanna continue this all the way around the sword. We can pick up the pace and you want to go all the way around so that there's no foam showing. Everything's slightly overlapped. After you get this completely covered, you want to bind all of this together right here so that it gives it that much more strength. To do that, you get a chunk about five to six inches long and you rip it in half split it straight down the center and then you just place that here like this over top and then I just spin that around alright the next step is to do the tip and what we're gonna need is two more of those five to six inch pieces tear it in half to do the tip hold the sword so that you can see and you take your first piece of tape and you place this piece of tape over the center hole. Almost perfectly in the center, all right? And you'll need about five. The next one, you do the same thing. You place it perfectly in the center, but you rotate it slightly. So I like to get one end lined up and the other end. And then as you bring it down, you'll see that I'm overlapping here slightly. So, the last one to just finish it off. No problems here, boom. Next thing we have to do is cover the blade. You take your duct tape, put your sword on your lap like this, measure it out, rip this. And then you just wanna place this on here. Try and get it so it's not wrinkly. So how I like to do that is I place this one corner down first, right? I just have this one corner over here of my thumb. And then I bring this down straight. And then I just rub my finger back and forth like this. 
and then it's on there and it's really smooth, there's no wrinkles. Just like when you were doing these, we want to overlap it slightly. We need another piece, measure it, rip it, and then the same thing, is I just stick one corner and I'm overlapping about a centimeter, maybe a little less, and then I'm just doing that rub down, and you repeat five times. Lay that down, plop that down. And this one also so. Next step is the guard with a jumbo noodle. So this thing is thicker. What you do is you cut yourself about an inch. We got our guard. Slide this on here. We're going to use a very similar technique to fasten this as we did when we fastened the blade onto the core. We need to rip pieces that are about four to five inches long. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to do a bunch of prep. So one, and these ones don't need to be ripped into thirds. You can get away with halves. All right. I like to stick these pieces of tape straight on the noodle first, like this. And then I like to push them down just as before and get them nice and lined up. The next piece, instead of going in a spiral, because you want to make sure that this is lined up so it's round, go across onto the other side, the opposite side, and place that one next. Now I have two placed on opposite sides. Take a quick look, you see that it's relatively balanced, balanced enough to get away with. As a principle, the more you overlap, the stronger it will be. Um, the less you overlap, the less material you're going to use. So I got this on here, and then just as before, you want to take an extra piece, and you want to bind all these down just to give it that much more strength. So now we have the guard. You can take your foam noodle, Kind of do a quick measurement and you take your knife and you cut yourself a chunk that is about two inches. Leave yourself a little bit of space. It doesn't need to be as much as the tip because you're not going to be stabbing somebody with this. Got that on there. It is the same step as before. You rip yourself off five or six of these dudes, rip them into thirds, store them over here, right? Simple, simple, simple. Great. I have all my pieces ripped, I'm ready to stick. Just like before, you put it on the, the foam part and then you roll your finger down here, keeping it nice and formed onto the foam. And then you start going around in a circle, overlapping slightly. All right, we finished it. Next thing, you know how it goes. You bind that so it doesn't get pulled off. So you rip the piece about five inches or so, making sure it can go all the way around here like this. Yeah. Now that pummel isn't really going anywhere. And then it's another thing that you've all done before. You're going to use that one piece and you're going to rip two more at four or five inches. And you're going to rip those guys in half and you're going to place them in the center, give them a little bit of a rotation. I usually kind of stick to one corner and then rotate it into place from that, pivot it from that corner that I stick down. So I'll go, hmm, yes, it seems like I need to be sticking here. And then I need to rotate it so that one overlaps. And that's what I do in my head every time. And then the last one's the easiest because you just know it can go straight on there. Let's talk about making a sweet handle. What you'll need is some rope. We'll need that and good old hockey tape. So I'm getting myself a little chunk of string. And then I'm going to tape this one end here. Right. And then I'm going to start wrapping this around. So. Now, when you're wrapping, you can wrap it tight all the way down like this if you want. You can wrap it, you know, somewhat loosely so you have like a, a spiral. You can do a spiral down and a spiral up so that you get a cross going on. Which is, I think I'm going to I'm down, so I'm up, 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 up
Yeah, okay. So have your hockey tape ready to go so you don't have to unpeel it. And then you just place that on top of it there where you finished your wrap. And you just make sure that you cover all of the rope up. Now, hockey tape doesn't have to be sticking in your hands. What I like to do, straight in my city, is just go inside, pass some dirt, rub in the handle, and do elastic stuff. So, as you can see, this is coming along pretty nicely. I'm gonna rotate you guys. Don't rip it off. Use a knife because then you can get a nice clean seam. Stick that down nice and tight. Give it a couple good squeezes. And then that's what you get. You can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, it hasn't been colored. You can lay some strips of tape, you know, up in here and then cover it, bind it this way. So then you have a nice colored cross guard and you can do the same thing with the pommel. Just have fun, guys. And that's how you make a foam sword. That's basic foam sword. All the foundations. Just color it up and have a blast. All right.